exploring the mandatory role of ISF-5 in compliance. Welcome to our video on the mandatory role of ISF-5 in compliance. In today's rapidly evolving business landscape, it's crucial for companies to understand and adhere to various regulations and requirements. One such requirement is the Importer Security Filing, or ISF, specifically ISF-5. ISF-5 refers to the mandatory filing requirement for cargo destined to the United States. It is an essential part of the Customs Trade Partnership Against Terrorism, or CTPAT, program. The purpose of ISF-5 is to enhance supply chain security by providing U.S. Customs and Border Protection with advance information about the cargo being imported. This information includes details about the manufacturer, supplier, and the party responsible for the shipment, among other key data points. By requiring this information in advance, ISF-5 enables Customs and Border Protection to assess potential security risks associated with the cargo and take necessary precautions. Compliance with ISF-5 is not only mandatory but also crucial for businesses. Non-compliance can result in penalties, delays, and even the denial of entry for the cargo. To ensure compliance, it's important to understand the specific requirements of ISF-5 and establish robust processes within your organization. Many companies utilize electronic platforms to streamline the ISF-5 filing process, making it more efficient and accurate. Once the ISF-5 filing is complete, you will receive a confirmation, providing peace of mind that your cargo is on track for a smooth entry into the United States. ISF-5 plays a vital role in ensuring compliance with U.S. customs regulations and maintaining the security of the global supply chain. By submitting accurate and timely filings, importers can help facilitate the smooth flow of goods into the United States while also protecting against potential security risks. Thank you for watching our video on the mandatory role of ISF-5 in compliance. Stay tuned for more informative content on trade and customs regulations.